Hey guys, today we're going to play around with face swapping in video using AI. So this is gonna be a fun video. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is set up Pinocchio. We'll start by heading over to https colon slash slash pinocchio.com pewter slash. Once we're there, we'll take a good look around to see what it offers. It turns out Pinocchio is a web browser designed for running apps that use artificial intelligence, which is pretty cool. The site has all the details and shows us the different features available. On the Pinocchio site, we'll find a bunch of apps we can install. We'll hit the download button first. For this example, we're downloading the Windows version. So we download the Pinocchio file and save it to our downloads folder. We wait until the download finishes, then we open the file. Windows might give us a heads up notice, but we'll click on more information and choose to run it anyway. Next, we get to the installation options for Pinocchio, like where to install it and whether we want the light or dark theme. We'll make our choices, click save and continue, and wait a bit for everything to load up. Now it's time to dive into the browser and find the app we're interested in, which today is Face Fusion 2 2.1. We click to download it, during the installation, it'll check for certain components. It shows us what's already installed and what's missing. We'll go ahead and install any needed components by following the prompts, which might take a bit of time. This process also includes installing Visual Studio. Once that's all set, we'll click to download again, and just like that, the installation finishes. Now we start downloading Face Fusion. We'll run the installation wizard and hit install. After seeing that all the components are in place and the installation is complete, it's time to launch the application. We'll open it up, log in, and explore the Face Fusion interface. So we're diving into the Face Fusion interface, and let me tell you, it's pretty straightforward, but packed with all the tools we need for some quality face swaps. We've got the version number up top, a handy donate button, and a bunch of tools like the Face Swapper, Face Debugger, and Face Enhancer. There's also info about the AI model used for the face changes settings for those of us with a graphics card to use CUDA, memory options, and where the final file will end up. We've got sections for the source file, the destination file, and the output. There's a start button, a clear button, and even a preview area. You can tweak all sorts of settings like the face selector mode, reference face, and mask type. Plus, you can adjust the blur and specify the face type, position, and even if the person is a child, adult, male, or female. They didn't forget the face detection model, resolution, and value settings either. For our first test, we're choosing a high-res, detailed photo of former President Obama as our reference image. And for the destination, a video of an athlete doing push-ups. The preview gives us a sneak peek of how the swap will look. Hitting play on the video panel lets us see the original and our final masterpiece side by side. We hit start, and in just a few seconds, we've got our first result. Playing it back, the outcome is seriously impressive. It's like Obama is right there doing push-ups. Downloading is a breeze, just a click in the upper right corner, and it's saved. Watching it on our player, the result is pretty realistic, though the ears are a bit off, but overall, it's amazing. Next, we're curious about the face enhancer, wondering if it'll boost the face quality. The enhanced preview looks fantastic. Starting the enhanced process takes about a minute, but the wait is worth it. The enhanced clip is even better than the first. Better lighting, less noticeable forehead mark, and it just looks more real. For our next trick, we're swapping in a photo of Trump doing chest exercises. Keeping the enhancer on, we're impressed by Face Fusion's quality work. This time, the model's doing chest exercises on a pulley. The process is a bit longer since the video's longer, but the thumbnail alone has us excited. Downloaded and played back, the clip is flawless. No weird cuts, just a smooth, convincing swap. Clearing the slate for round three, we choose a high-res photo of President Biden and select a video of someone exercising. Even with a profile view, the face adaptation is spot on. After starting the process, the result is stunning. Downloading and playing it back, the color and lighting adaptation to Biden's face is impressive. Lastly, we're going for a fun one with Jeff Bezos, our favorite bald guy doing contortionism. The preview already has us hooked. This video, being a different format and longer, takes a bit to process, but the final product is worth the wait. When the model turns, the fusion is even more impressive, especially in close-up. The mask edges, invisible. 
It's just incredible through and through. All right, let's check out a new tool this time, something called a cool swap. We'll just pop over to their website at https colon slash slash face swap dot cool dot com. The cool part is it's all online, no fuss with downloads or installations. First step is to hit the sign up button. This tool seems pretty slick. You can upload images or videos, do face swaps, all powered by some serious AI magic. They even show off a face swap example that looks awesome. Next up, we'll get ourselves set up with an account. We click login and then sign up to get started, punch in our details and bam, account created. After we punch in a verification code, we're in and greeted with 50 daily credits. Nice touch. With our account ready, we dive into the features. We decide to start with editing a video. As soon as we upload it, the software smartly identifies the face in three steps. We've got options to tweak the age, kick in an enhancer, and more. We upload a photo of Obama for our test, and it's easy to pick and repick faces for the swap. For videos that are super clear, think 1080p and above, or crowded with faces, firing up the face enhancer is the way to go. We opt for a high quality face swap and head to the results to see our masterpiece. After a short wait, there it is. We take a look and the result's pretty striking. The face lighting looks way more natural. Though something's a bit off, it's still a win in my book. We notice it used 20 of our initial 50 credits, but it's worth it, so we download our creation. Now, back to square one, we decide to work on a video of an athlete doing peck flies. After uploading, the tool quickly gets to work, identifying the face in two steps. We could reuse a previous model, but where's the fun in that? We go for a new face upload. After selecting the face, we're all set to generate the video. There's a small catch though. Our video comes with a watermark since we're not on a paid plan. And it looks like this venture used up the rest of our credits. No matter, we hit play and wow, the result is impressive. Natural looking with a perfectly adapted face. Now let's get Swap Face installed. We'll head over to this website at https www.swapface.org slash slash home where there's a handy tutorial on how to get everything set up. Right at the top, you'll find all sorts of links for downloading the installation file, FAQs, and more. To grab the installer, we'll choose where we want to download it from. I'm thinking Mediafire sounds good. Then we pick our operating system, hit the download button, and decide where to save the file. Once it's downloaded, we'll unzip the file and run the installer. The installation process is pretty quick and painless. Next up, we'll create an account by clicking on Sign Up and filling in our details. So we start off by entering our sign up details and hitting the Send button to get a verification code via email. There's also a spot for an invite code, but that's optional. After agreeing to the terms and conditions, we click on Go to kick things off. Next, we're prompted to choose where we want to save our files, so we pick a spot and we're all set. In Swap Face, there's a bunch of cool features. We can swap faces in real time during a live stream, in videos, or in images. With the free plan, we get 10 tokens for uploading images and another 10 for creating face swapped videos. For videos, we select the one we want to work on. Let's say it's a video of a buddy doing push-ups. We upload it and wait for the platform to do its thing. It automatically spots the face in the video. We click on the detected face and hit choose. On the right, there's a list of face models we can switch to. If we don't like those, we can upload our own photo. So we upload a photo of Obama, wait for it to load, and then it's showtime. We click on the image and at the bottom, we can see the face swap we're about to make, complete with a preview of the swap. We choose fast mode for rendering, but then a pop-up tells us we don't have enough credits for a watermark-free video. No worries, we go ahead with the watermark option. The video starts rendering, and once it's done, the work that I'm getting the folder where we saved the files pops open. We check out the video, and the result's surprisingly good. Despite a slight mismatch, the face swap looks seamless. Next up, we try swapping in a photo of former President Trump, but no dice. The app flags it as sensitive content, and won't process it. Restarting the app, we switch to Elon Musk and then Jeff Bezos, both of which load without a hitch. With our remaining tokens, we decide to swap Bezos into a video of a contortionist. The app does its thing, showing us when the face is fully visible to the camera. We hit start, proceed with the watermark, and the result is impressive. 
It retains some original facial features, but still looks natural. Swap Face lets us swap multiple faces in a single video, so we test this feature with a scene from a Leonardo DiCaprio movie that also includes Tobey Maguire. We decide to swap in Elon Musk and John Oliver for a laugh. The app quickly identifies both faces. After uploading John's photo and selecting the faces to swap, we process the video. The outcome is fantastic, even John's glasses are gone, making for a hilarious and impressive result. Next up, we're diving into Reface.ai, which is this cool online platform at https colon slash slash Reface.ai packed with features for tweaking images and videos using artificial intelligence. When we hop onto their website, we're greeted with a bunch of choices. We can restyle images or videos, swap faces, animate pictures, and a whole lot more. So we decide to give face swap a try and clicking on that option whisks us away to a page called Unboring. Over there, we spot the sign in button and hit it to set up a new account. The cool part? Signing up scores us five tokens to get started on our face swapping adventures. We have the option to sign up using our Google or Facebook account. Choosing to go with Google, we pick our account, agree to the terms, click continue, and voila. We're redirected back to the homepage, but this time our account's all set up and we're ready to roll with uploading our content. Okay, so once we're all set to start uploading our stuff, we're gonna hit the upload content button. First up, we choose our video and get it uploaded. It's pretty slick how the platform immediately recognizes the face in the video. Next step, we click on add face because we're looking to swap out the original face with a new one. We find the file we want, upload it, and once it's on the platform, we select it and hit swap faces to kick off the rendering process. Just a short wait later, our video is all done. We hit download to check it out in our video player and the results not too shabby, no watermarks, though the resolution could be better. Right next to the download option, there's a compare button that lets us see a real time before and after of our creation. It's pretty clear the platform's nailed it. Now we're moving on to the next video. We click on add new photo and upload another one, this time of someone doing peck flies. The platform does its thing again, recognizing the face automatically. We then add face, choose a photo of Trump and let it upload. Once it's up, we select the photo, hit swap faces, and in just a few seconds, we've got ourselves another video ready. And man, the result is hilarious, an incredible job. We download this one too, to have a look in our player, and yep, this one turned out even better than the first, thanks to the higher quality of the video. Now for the third try, we upload a video of our model doing squats, then add a photo of Biden, select the face, swap them, and bam. This time though, the quality's a bit on the lower side. The platform struggles a bit with the face's shadows, making it look kinda odd. All right, moving on to our final adventure, we're diving into something called Google Colab. So we punch in the URL to get started and are greeted with a step-by-step -step guide. The first step is to clone repo and install dependencies. Right off the bat, we get this pop-up warning us that the notebook isn't Google's own work. We decide to live a little and click on Run anyway, kicking off the installation. But, of course, it's not all smooth sailing. A message pops up at the end telling us something went wrong and suggesting we restart the session. We click the button to restart, cross our fingers, and hit Yes. Next up, we tackle the second step. Download Model. We wait a bit, and it looks like we're good to go. Then it's time for GPU support. This bit takes a bit longer, but soon enough, it seems like we're ready to roll. Now, according to the instructions, it's time to upload our files. We click on the folder icon, then on Upload Files. First up is our video, but we hit a snag. File names can't have numbers or spaces. All right, no big deal. We adjust and upload the video, then do the same with the photo. Next, we're supposed to right-click on the file or hit the three dots and select Copy Path to paste it in the designated spot. We do that for both the video and the image, hit the play button, and bam. It warns us that we might be running some no-no code, hinting that we could be banned from using Google Colab if we keep this up. Apparently, we've stumbled into the murky waters of creating deep fakes or face swaps. 
which according to a quick check in the FAQ, is a big no-go on the platform. If you enjoyed this video, I'd truly appreciate it if you would take a moment to click the like and subscribe buttons. It really helps a small channel like mine. In the meantime, I hope you make bazillions.